Hi, this is a quick demo on how to calibrate your Bifago Crush Delay. Um, the no, page 7 in the build document advises you that you need to calibrate using the test points. Uh, these are actually located right on the board. So if I point them out here, uh, this is test point 3, test point 4, test point 1 and 2. There are basically four test point holes that you uh, need to get into in some way, shape or form. The one in the middle here with the black crocodile clip uh, is your ground. So you need to connect the ground and then you need to test test point one, two, three and four. Exactly how you do that is listed in uh, page seven of the build document. So I'm not going to go through that here. But when you're testing this out, what you're doing is you're testing uh, how much uh, audio is going into your control voltages and then you're going to tune that. Uh, using uh, your tuning pots here. So this is a uh, for three, this is for four, this is for one, and this is for two. So yeah, you'll need a screwdriver for those. But essentially how I done this was I connected uh, just a standard mono uh, Eurorack cable, uh, audio cable, and that's going into my main sound system. The other side then is going into uh, two crocodile clips here. Uh, the red uh, is uh, connected to the tip and the black is connected to the, the shield or the ground. So basically what's happening then is the ground is going up here uh, into this ground section which is in the middle through that hole. Um, I'm actually using just the, the, the legs of a uh, resistor as well connected to the crocodile clips so it just makes it much easier. And then I'm currently uh, testing point three. So I have an oscillator going into um, one of the, the CVNs and again, that, that side of it's all explained and it's explained well enough within the uh, documentation. So I'm not going to go through it here. I'm just really trying to show you how to uh, find these test points and also what to use to connect to them uh, quickly and easily. So again, I just have an oscillator up here and uh, get into the test point. And that's going in uh, to one of the CVNs. I can't remember which one, but you have to do uh, three or four of them. So then uh, to calibrate each test point, um, if you are getting audio bleeding through your, your CVNs, um, you would calibrate it using uh, these pots here. So there's four uh, for each, uh, uh, there's four all together, one for each test point. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, it took me uh, a lot of time to kind of figure out this is exactly what I needed to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully it saves you the bother. Any questions, give me a shout. Thanks.